Hello everybody, this is going to be a different kind of video. I got very interested in seeing that by looking at old photographs, these big buildings were there but the people looked so bedraggled. And yet the buildings were there, yet the people, even the cars, the things, horses and cars, they don't match up to the magnificence of the buildings that they're in. But when I looked at some of these pictures, I learnt or I'm learning that none of our history is right when you look at all these things which say 1800s and whatever. Uh, I suppose there's going to be videos somewhere that someone's going to have in their attic but a lot of them aren't real. And what it seems is that something happened to us, um, something did, and then when the pictures are shown there's just children in it and it looks like the children are digging out. So I looked at this photograph here and I thought to myself, that's his family. But when I look at the colour of some of the children, I mean, either this, maybe we don't know if any of these pictures are right or people have added things. You know what technology is today, you know what you can do. But this person and this person and this person, they just don't, they don't, none of them look alike and they don't add up and really look like these people. And then it sort of came to me, because we have obviously talked about this quite a lot, that maybe all these children are orphans and those people are looking after them. But just look at what they're wearing. Look at what these people are wearing. Right? Just look at how they're dressed. How could people that look like that uh, be draggled, um, be making these big buildings? And then I'm going to show you a bit more, because I was absolutely horrified. Now this is a wedding supposed to be a man and a woman but in the photographs most of the women look like men and then looking at these photographs I don't know they just don't look right and as you can see there's a black man there and if they were slaves why isn't he why is he there he wouldn't be there if he was a slave and then I suddenly realized looking on the internet there was so much cross-dressing going on so much cross-dressing a lot of pictures of men dressed as women i was absolutely gobsmacked to see so many i mean maybe that's a woman with a beard but it's again it's got to have the male in wrong place and i mean i kept finding them loads of them loads of photographs of men dressed as women i was horrified but we don't know if any of these pictures are real they could have been superimposed on top they could have been added to the system to make us believe that for 200 years people were cross-dressing. You can't tell anymore. Um, all I know is I was so shocked to find so much about cross-dressing and men. Even back, that one has got them in 1843. You know, so this has been going on a long time. And I mean, even that's supposed to be a woman, but does it look like a woman? Every, all the women, that's supposed to be a woman. All the women look like men. And there, I came across, just going to stop that there for a minute, look. Do you see that the black people are dressed just the same as the white people? So they couldn't have been slaves. This is in the 1850s. These people were better dressed than us, These some of these people. Uh, they're better dressed than us, and if they were slaves, they wouldn't be dressed like that. So... I don't think there was a slave system in the 1850s. Well, these people weren't slaves. So when did all this, the fact that they were second-class citizens, where did it come in? I know it's here in, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, but it wasn't there in the 1850s. So when did it happen to them? So history is lying to us yet again. And then I decided to go over to Notre Dame because I'm just looking at loads of things. Now, there is two different dates here. There's 1163 and this one says 1211. But you see the dates they're talking about. They're talking of centuries ago, right? Now, you saw how bedraggled the people were, right? So how could this have been built? Yes, there were bits added on. Yes, they could have happened two, three hundred years ago. You know, like the, the church has been added to. But, I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that building. That's supposed to be a church. I don't, there's some, it's been something else. I don't believe that it was a church. And as it was built in 11 or 12th century, look at what they built. Now, that crane has to move. Let's go back to that again. Um, here, a crane has to move the material over to the church. So 
to build these things. They would have had to have been, I mean, maybe they were cast. We don't realise, we don't quite know what our history is at all. But I mean, just look at this church, look at this steeple. I mean, if I just showed you the steeple, you might think that you were out in um, Thailand or something. But I mean, just, I told you what the people look like. But look at these buildings, just look at them. They're absolutely magnificent. How could the bedraggled people be building things like that? So they're lying to us about our history. I mean, look at the people. The people at the same time, this is what they're showing. I just put in um, middle 1800s and those pictures came up and these people came up, but still bedraggled and all that. They still had all these buildings. How could they build these so precise buildings, bedraggled in horse carts and stuff with wires? And I mean, look at this bridge. This bridge is here, but the people are still pretty poor looking and bedraggled and everything is pretty gray. And this bridge, I, I don't know what that is in the background there behind the bridge here. I can't work that out sitting here, but I wasn't sure if that's real. That now doesn't look real because the, the pictures have been doctored. Yeah, does that look real to you? Because it doesn't look real to me. But anyway, you know me with breaking down my videos and looking at pictures. And then this guy here, look, he's bedraggled. Look at his clothes, but look what's behind him. And look at the size of the building. Look at the size of the building behind these children, but look at the children. I mean, I'm not sure if these pictures have been made up and superimposed. I don't know, I haven't broken it down too much, but just look. Look at the state of that child on the right in his clothes. Just look at them, but look at the buildings. And I mean, zooming in, I wasn't sure whether you could see that those buildings have been put together. Do you see what I mean? This one here, look, these, they don't look right. These are just looking at information. They don't look right. But again, I can't quite tell. The quality's not that good. But it just doesn't add up. Look at the size of those buildings, but look at the people. What my theory, I think, is that if everybody knows the pyramids were not built by the Egyptians, the Egyptians acquired them. Oh, stop it there for a minute. The Egyptians acquired them. They moved in after whoever built them had gone, and then the Egyptians took them over. And I'm sorry, but that's what's happened to us. We had whatever was here, was here. It went, those magnificent buildings I just showed you. And then we've come in and we're bedraggled and everything. And we acquired those buildings just like the Egyptians acquired the pyramids. But I was looking at this, right? It was just a little bit of ice skating, right? And then what I decided to do was break the footage down and look at the people and again we have exactly the same problems as in the Watts case. Everybody was now not looking right and not appearing right. Things were just not right. They're just not right. They don't look right. I mean look at that guy on the right here, left here, look at him. They just don't, this doesn't look I don't know, it's probably a kid, but he's got no face. Look at them. Just look at the people. So this video cannot be real. Look at it. It's the same problem as with the Watts case. So, nothing that they've ever shown us really is real. It's just not real. Look at it. It's, this has been doctored. This is, this is a weird looking piece of footage. So, I only went to look to find the buildings because I wanted to see how far back the buildings that, that they're showing us, how big they are and so forth. I wanted to see how far back it went. I can see them in the mid 1880s. What it seems to me is we haven't really moved on very far. Yes, we've got better cars. Oh, let's I stop that one a minute. Yes, we have better cars. Um, we have better... We had, we could, you know, we've got better planes. Uh, maybe we didn't have televisions and 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 um, phones then, but they had everything then. Look at the buildings; they had everything then. And in the 200 years from the 1880s, I don't think we've really moved along that long. You know, the space isn't real, and they're lying to us about that. We can't go up there, and they're wasting and using the people's money. But um, again, just looking at this horse, this horse. It's not its feet were not in good condition, which means they're not rich. They're poor. And even though they're poor, just still look at the buildings. 
Look what they were able to build. So they're poor, looking in rags, but they could build buildings like this. They don't add up to what the people look like. They just don't. I mean, look at those. They're amazing. Look at these. Um, this is in the 1850s, 1860. They were all before 1890, all these pictures and things. But whether they're real or not. And even that, that's part of a bridge. So the, the ships down here were with sails and stuff like that. But they were still managing. So we were in this, but they managed to build that. And I mean... Even though it's not the most beautiful, it's just look at it, it's still quite featured and it's got so many things on it. That thing was still an amazing thing to build. How could they build that? Look at it, it's so perfect. It's perfection when we're not living in a perfect world. They've got rags on, they'd be draggled. And um, obviously I'm going to get to the next bit. Um, see, on a building today, you need cranes. You need cranes and things to build these things. And I mean, I was watching this today, A Plain Truth. If you look, these windows are below ground level. And I mean, they were still able to build those. Look at it, it's beautiful. And then look, that is much older than they're telling us and it's on a star fort. That's on a star fort. That means something other than what they're telling you. But anyway, back to the building. To build a building, they had to use all these cranes and they did it in uh, 10 days but they needed the cranes they needed other machinery to help them do it right I think it's 15 stories high so how did these people get these buildings it couldn't have just been bits of rope I mean look at that building these buildings in these pictures are still amazing but you know, are they real? Are they put together? I just don't know. I mean, look at that one. Great big house. And then what it was is... Um, oh, let's go back to this bit. Hang on a second. Um, well, the other thing I didn't talk about was this. Look at their faces. When we look at their faces, do they look happy? Do you see any of these people being happy? When you look at any of these people, do they look happy? Yeah, the odd one smiles, but generally you look at them. Just go and look for yourself at any pictures from the 1880s, 1870s, 1902. When they're in these things, do they look happy? None of them look happy. Blew my mind. Now, these pictures are supposed to have been from um, Auschwitz or somewhere like that. And again, it just blew my mind because... They've got, even though these ones are obviously they're not supposed to be the 1940s, they still mostly, well, they, this person here on the left has more expression than most of the people in the other photographs, but again, it was the same thing. They just look in shock. Everybody looks in shock all the time. Looks like they're prisoners, like this. It's the same thing, but then also, do you know what I noticed? If they were in Auschwitz, how come they're modelling? They've got three pictures of them, and in these ones, they've all got things on their head. If you're going to murder everybody and insinuate, um, incinerate them, why have you got hats and scarves and things on them and taking three pictures of them? Yeah, I don't think any of this adds up. There you go, look, they're, they're, they're modelling almost. Why would you be modelling if you're in a concentration camp? I don't think any of our history is, is correct. I don't think they're telling us the truth about anything. I think this is all not real either because these videos are now doing the same thing as the Watts kids. Look at him. Yeah, they're old, but it's still the same problem. I think that we've been infiltrated. I mean, look at his face there. Look at that. Sorry, it would still just be there. There shouldn't be any tampering. Remember, these videos are old. Look. But this has got the same problem. And then when I went back to this one, the very first one, I think that because there's pictures of children... And the children are here, and these are not their parents. These are people who are looking after these children. These children are orphaned, or whatever it is. But I think whatever happened to us, a lot of these children from the mid-1880s is where we come from. We come from these people. These are the minders. They're like a, not an orphanage, but I don't know what it is. Maybe that's it, but I mean, that could be their, it's, it's pitting that that's their family, and that's what you'd think. 
But I don't think he is. I think they're looking after these children. Their parents have gone. These are looking after. Look at them. Uh, yeah, she's got a little bit of an expression, but none of these people look happy, do they? None of them. This, if, if it's poor, or not many fit photographs were taken, how come these people aren't smiling and are happy? And I just don't believe it took five minutes to take the photograph, because if so, she's got that face, and that guy's not even looking at the camera. So you mean to say he sat for two or three minutes looking past the camera? I don't think so. These pictures were taken instantaneously. And then I just don't know what we're in because they look a bit like looking like this. And these are supposed to be in outfits. So these are supposed to be prisoners. But actually, the people also look the same. We don't know whether he wanted to wear that dress or whether he was paid to wear that dress. Do you see what I mean? We don't know what's happened here or even if these pictures are real. I'm a bit gobsmacked because we can't even go back to look at the stuff which is supposed to be the 1800s. To see if it's real. We don't even know if any of that's real. It doesn't look real to me. It looks it looks unreal. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit more at the end of this. It's about um, Bowood House. It's about these big buildings. I mean, now we're calling it Tataria. And just showing you the problem I had finding information. And also that this big house is gone. And uh, this is a different video, but I'm adding it. It was a video on its own, but I'm adding it to this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Hey, just making this little um, video. This is about Bowood House. I went there probably in the 80s, late 80s, maybe early 90s. Now it's sort of sort of an amusement place you know it's got tree houses and children can play up in the you know climbing up into the trees there's slides it's not got big dippers and things like that on it but it's very outside walk around the gardens walk around the lake you know, walk through the this wing that's left well it's a double wing with the nice big house missing what a shame anyway double wing I want to talk about this place here. It's called the big house and then this is called the little house. When I was there, um, it said that there used to be a bigger part and that got destroyed and um, you're left with the wing of the house. It's an amazingly big wing, uh, isn't it? That's the wing of this house. Anyway, those seemed one solitary picture of this couple of pictures of this place. But I mean, look at it, it's amazing. Um, I wanted to try and find out more information, so I'm just going to take you on my journey to see how hard it is because this went, it was in 1955 they destroyed this. I couldn't find hardly any information about it. I just find it incredible if the big house got destroyed. I mean, that's not particularly small, is it? And the big house got destroyed. So, no big house there. There's not really that many pictures of the whole thing anyway. Well, that's a picture of the dining room. So I put, I wanted to put, original Bowood House 1700s. That's the picture I found, that's the picture I showed you. It's got the big house on it. And I put the original Bowood, right, so it didn't, it didn't come up with only one picture. So I put in etchings, you know, because they used to like bring, you know, there's an etching, there's an etching there. Look at all the things that are coming up, like with the one before. I mean, that, that there, but that's an etching. But I wanted more more information then because this thing had a house on it in 17 it was built as the destruction of country houses in the 20th century britain it's been going on since the 15th century and there's a bit more information it goes into law and things there but anyway um it's been going on since the 15th century How did they know that? Anyway, whoa.
Oh, at long last I found a piece of information about Bowood House, but not in any plans or pictures. In the 1700s, the two parts of the house, so there's nothing before, it just starts talking here um, at Bowood House, the big house and the little house were joined together by the construction of an enormous drawing room. And that's about it really. So, I knew it was bigger. At long last, I found a bit more information. It's through Wikipedia. The big house was demolished in 1955 for economic reasons. However, the remaining house is still large and the front wing is open to the public with rooms, paintings, sculptures on display. One of the rooms was the laboratory of Joseph Priestley who discovered oxygen there on the 1st of August 1970. Nine, sorry, in 1774. In the year 2000, Bowood House was designed. There you go, though. Wow. See? The big house was destroyed in 1955. And actually, there is mention here the only. Where is it? The galleries, 19th century. Big house was demolished in 1955. And now the committee room at Lloyd's of London sort of right, so it's about paintings, but there again, so that's on their own web page. So they say it's destroyed in 1955, which isn't too far back. They had cameras and things, not everybody, but they were taking pictures. Well, this is that one. That one looks like it's one of these, but the only one that really comes back up to is... Oh, I've lost it now. There it is. This put Bowood Big House. It just wants to take me back to, well, roughly what it's like today. But you saw there was another house. Why did they destroy that beautiful thing? Anyway, thanks for watching.